10 starters back for the Jackrabbits on offense in 2023. And play action for Gronowski into the flats. Swing it out to Jackson Yonke. Scampers ahead for a first down and then some. Yonke with the hurdle into plus territory. Tackling in the open field going to be huge. Gronowski does a good job just dumping the ball off. Nass Fouch not able to make the tackle. And Jackson Yonke makes them pay. The Yonke twins are a big part. On first down, Gronowski with time into the flats the other direction and another decent play as Fouch makes the stop after a gain of seven. So instead of second and three, it'll be first and 15. Gronowski again, this time to his tight end, Zach Hines. And back across the original line of scrimmage, a seven yard pickup. Jack Rabbits need seven. Time for Gronowski across the middle. That's enough for a first down. Braxton Hill with the stop. Mark Johnson on the field for the first time in the backfield. Gronowski again with time. Fires it to Johnson. The pass is high. He corrals it. And a first down and a tough hit. Straight up quarterback run. And the power game ahead to the 15. Governor, the tackle, a gain of six. Davis flanks Gronowski on third and four. Gronowski steps up. He's going to run for it. First down and goal for the Jacks. Gronowski stopped at the five, a gain of ten. Meyer. Davis to the edge. 22 across the goal line for the touchdown. And SDSU strikes first in Frisco. Nearly seven minutes in, seven nothing. And the defending national champion strike first with Zay Davis getting the honors. He's done it all for head coach Bobby Howe. And Bergen gets a chance. Into the sunlight, Bergen. Nearly lassoed down from behind and there he goes. Junior Bergen. Across the 40, a return of 40, and Montana with outstanding field position. And his running ability has been big for him. Play action, McDowell. Fires a strike to Keelan White, the leading receiver short of the first down, but into plus territory. It'll be third and short. Gales making the tackle after a gain of six. His defense has been elite, yielding less than 10 points per game this year. Jack Rabbits have not really been challenged outside of just two games on the schedule. Dump off across the middle. It's Gilman again, and the freshman powers his way ahead. Across the 40, a gain of eight. Stallburn with a tackle. Oh, almost a reward. Good vibes only is what I'm hearing. Right. Gilman delayed handoff, and the give ahead to the 30. How about Gilman's power? He'll push the pile a little bit across the 30-yard line. He'll stop forward progress near the 30 from Portland, Oregon. And on the jet sweep, to the edge. And a good play for Xavier Harris. Ushered out after a gain of four more. And Montana keeping SDSU back on its heels on this first possession for the Grizz. Gilman in the backfield along with Osmo, who now motions to join him. They'll throw it. McDowell, Osmo, the senior, and a first down. Dragged down at the 20, a gain of six on fourth and one. The Montana Grizz, Big Sky champions. Bergen and Gilman in the backfield. Those wide splits you can see clearly. Time for McDowell. Heaves one and it's caught. And on the slant, initial indication is a grab by Keelan White. We tell you he's been well traveled. That would be an understatement. Ten and Maroon and White has been everywhere for landing in Missoula. And on second and short, it'll be first and goal for the Grizz. Light in motion on third and goal, and here's McDowell. Steps up in the pocket. What does he want? He'll carry it. Leapfrogging ahead and stopped just short of the goal line inside the one. Jack Rabbit's offense back on the field. They'll snap the ball with no review. Wide open is Yonke, and Jaden Yonke slides in safely with the reception across the 15-yard line. So to start the second quarter, fourth and goal from inside the one. Montana comes up short. 
Thanks to Adam Bach. And now the Jackrabbits on the move until that interception. It is picked off by the Grizzlies. Corbin Walker. Late penalty marker flies in. But Montana gets the football back in a rare mistake toss by Mark Gronowski. Run of Montana, the one versus the two. And Corbin Walker, impressive, Roddy. And Corbin Walker reads the eyes of Mark Gronowski as he goes back to the wheel. This Montana offense with new life. Xavier Harris and Osmo in the backfield, and it's Harris to the left side. Harris breaks a tackle. Driven out of the 14. Montana, another first down. Nico Ramos has been perfect inside of 40 yards this season. He is the shorter distance place kicker for the Grizz. From 30 yards out on that right hash, and Ramos bangs it through. Roddy, it does feel like perhaps the Grizz survived that opening storm launched by the Jackrabbits. And Wilty tripped up crossing the 25. Gronowski with a crease and a first down. Mark Gronowski into Montana territory, still on his feet to the 40. Jenna Carroll able to latch on at the last minute. It's a gain of 33 on the ground. Look, it was a hole the size of Texas, and Isaiah Davis leads through. He's looking for someone to block, because the left side of this offensive line just opens up a massive lane. But how about 22 getting down the field, finishing a safety, and allowing Mark Gronowski to have the big game. Love that call early in a drive. Got the co-offensive players of the year. Competitive game to start for the Grizz. First appearance in the title affair since 2009. McDowell retreats, looking for White. And they will call that a catch for a short gain. It'll be third down. Gilman racing out. McDowell fires in his direction. That should be enough to move the chains. Gilman broke open. McDowell in stride and a gain of nine for a first down. Bottom of the screen. Third down and eight, McDowell pocket collapsing, and so does Clifton McDowell. Sacked. Kind of came from everywhere. A lot of the pressure came from the left side. You're going to see the two defensive tackles, two defensive line players cross the faces of the offensive guard and tackle. And the thing is, with those wide splits, it can be tough to cut those defensive linemen off. Hey, Turvier. According to sack that time, that may have touched a jackrabbit. Ball pops out, and who has it? Grizz say they do. And they do. And returning it for a touchdown, but it bounces up and hits him in the back. He knows it immediately. They try and scramble, but Montana gets the right bounce of the football and ends up recovering. Second recovery for Montana. The last seven games of a fumbled football. Brand new life for the Grizz. Four-man pressure, empty backfield for McDowell, across the middle, Junior Bergen. First catch in the SDSU territory, and a gain of 12. Grizz have two timeouts remaining, Jacks with all three. And it's Johnson again over the right side. Humble down across the 35 by Meyer, 13 on the play. Three-man front, three safeties on the field for the Jackrabbits. With a seam and a completion to Aaron Fonts. The deep ball precision, immaculate, the Pac-12 champions. In the final play of the half, McDowell surveys. Arm streaked on display to the goal line. And intercepted, it was picked off. Jackrabbits have it. And Dallas Beanham racing back to the 35 before he's tackled there. Gilman and Harris joining McDowell in the backfield. For picking up the first down. Dow crossed the middle, and Bergen ending backwards across the 40 to the 41, a gain of six. Perhaps starting a North Dakota State-type run back-to-back -back national titles. 
Slant route is there, and that'll be a first down for Aaron Fonts. Ball came out late. Did they mark him down? The initial indicator is that he was down. NFL potential on that side of the offensive line for the Jacks. And Davis trying to find a lane, and I don't think so. Needed two, stopped at the line. It'll be fourth down and two, no gain on the play, and it was Tyler Flink. I've not been able to get to him. And it's been kept clean so far. Here comes the heavy pressure. Gronowski escapes on the move. Hines has it. The massive tight end. Zach Hines upended near the 11. From the 10. He'll fake it to Davis. There goes Gronowski with a cut across the goal line for the touchdown. That play, and Gronowski found a way to sneak across. I think it's just the play call where they tell Mark Gronowski, hey, if you don't like what you see, just take off and run. Johnson, the running back. Four-man front for the Grizz. There was movement. No penalty marker. In zone, Yonke. And this time, hauls it in for the touchdown. Jaden Yonke over Trajan Cotton. Games. Well, how about the response after the last time they ran this play? It was called incomplete because Trajan Cotton, incredible impacts on this stage. I mean, Jackson had three touchdowns, or excuse me, two touchdowns last year here. Backside pressure, McDowell lost it. SDSU recovers. And the Jackrabbits get it back again. Boy, on the field is a fumble return. Have to give Clifton McDowell some time. He's been harassed today. He'll step up here. Throws it back across his body. Osmond's got to go. Osmo going to pick up the first down. A gain of 21 on fourth and 18. He said this week in terms of talking to Jesse Bobbitt and Jimmy Rogers, Tucker Large, best player in coverage. And he's not been fooled today. McDowell's going to be sacked. A loss of two more. It'll be fourth down and long. Two longtime ACC rivals. Gronowski back on the field. And Isaiah Davis. Expect to see a lot of 22. He'll push his way ahead across the 40. And Zay, the senior from Joplin, Missouri. Those defensive numbers for Michigan are minuscule, but Big Ten not the best offensive conference this season. Isaiah Davis probing his way now to a big gainer. Jump cut. Back down inside the 35. Davis starting to stockpile the yardage. Third down and five after the timeout. Ayat feeling the pressure and down he goes back at the 40. Give something.